What up, peeps? KG Drifty's in the building. I'm here to bring you guys an Apex Legends Weapons Guide. And this is episode one to this brand new series that I'm going to be bringing to my channel. And with this series, I'm going to be giving you guys in-depth information and stats about all the weapons on Apex Legends. So, and on, on top of that, my goal is to make these videos at least five minutes or less. I don't want to stretch this video out because I want to make these videos fast, quick, and informative as much as possible. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. Now, starting off with the very first weapon I'm going to cover, and that is the M600 Special. Spitfire, and this is probably one of the most overpowered weapons in the game. The gun carries an ammo type of heavy, and on top of that, the magazine capacity for the Spitfire is 35, but if you end up getting the extended mag, there are three type of mags that you can get in the game, which is a common, which is a, it, increase, it has a small increased ammo capacity, and if you get a rare, which is the blue one, it is a moderate increased ammo capacity, fast reload speed, and if you get an epic, it is a large increased ammo capacity, very fast reload speed. It is guaranteed that you need to get these extended mags just because it is a very very fast weapon it can really you'll find yourself reloading majority of half of the time because when you're in the middle of gunfight the gun has a fire rate of 512 and on top of that the projectile speed of the gun is 27 500 so that makes this gun is extremely extremely fast extremely powerful you'll find yourself reloading a lot of the time so make sure that when you when you do have the spitfire make sure you put on that extended max even if it's even if you're using you know the regular or you're using uh the rare but regardless of the fact any extended max is better than no because like i said before when you're in these gunfights it's going to run out of ammo you're going to find yourself reloading a lot a lot of the time especially if you don't have extended max now starting off with the damage the base damage for the weapon to the body is 20 damage per second and then for the head it gives 40 damage per second and into the leg it is 15 damage per second but the overall damage per second to the body is 180 damage per second and for the head it is 360 and now this is extremely extremely amazing this gun is literally the goat and like i said before if you're hitting majority of your shots it's going to be a guarantee that you're going to shred everybody's health and on top of that their shield so make sure that you're shooting at the chest or at the head above if you want to see the best results with the weapon i guarantee it will make this gun you it will be worth your while if you're hitting majority of all your shots now the loaded the load how how much time it takes to reload when you're when you already have ammo inside the gun it takes 2.8 seconds to reload the gun but if you empty out all the rounds into the gun it takes 3.33 seconds to reload now that is a high and that is very very that's crazy how slow it reloads when you empty out the full round but when you're using when you're using the high when you put when you put on extended mags it, I think it will change up how fast it takes to reload the gun. I'm not sure. I never tested it out, but I think it makes it. I think when you put extended mags on it, it will it, it will kind of cut down that time a little bit shorter. So, like I said before, it bring it makes it a lot faster when reloading. So I feel like it reduces a lot. Wherever I find out how much it cut it down by, I will put it in the screen below. But if I don't have it up there, that means I couldn't find it. Now. <clears throat> For the draw time of this weapon, it takes 0.7 seconds to take out the gun, to draw it out, and then to put it back and switch it for another weapon, it takes 0.65 seconds. Now, that is a huge difference for the draw time, how the draw time can be such like a lot faster than it can when you're holstering it. So make sure that when you're doing it, make sure you have cover if you can, or on top of that, make sure you have your teammates covering up for you guys. Now, the gun has a very moderate recoil. It's not too over, it's not too crazy, too over the top. When you're continuing to shoot straight and you don't have control of the weapon it tends to move over to the right as you can see but if like i said before if you have control of the weapon it's a guarantee that like i said you will hit majority of all your shots but just make sure that you try to aim at them as much as possible because like i said people tend to strafe a lot in this game so make sure that you're hitting a majority of all your shots and you're aiming at them precisely and as you can see the line of sight for this gun is not half bad the line of sight is really really decent it's very small it's very good it's not too bad in my opinion but I, I personally prefer putting on a site in my opinion because it makes it a lot easier for me. But if you don't tend, but if you don't want to put on a site, it's still a very, very good site to use even without it the iron side of it is amazingly good it's not too bad it's a little it takes up the screen just a little bit but like i said before i feel like that you can you can easily combat that but like i said if you're a person who likes to use um who likes to use red dot or any other thing just make sure you put that on but i feel like it, it creates a little bit more of a recoil but i'm not really too sure but just try it out but there you guys have it that is 
the, uh, that is the weapon guy for the Spitfire. I will be bringing you guys a lot more videos and a lot more in-depth videos about the other guns. If you want to, want to see me do any more uh, guns, make sure you comment below and let me know. I'll be guaranteed to get that right for you guys. Make sure if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the, uh, give this video a big thumbs up. And on top of that, subscribe if you have not already. More great videos coming soon. I'm, great. I'm glad to be doing a great series like this. And I'm excited to bring a lot more for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. More great videos coming soon. And I'll see you guys in the next one.